So as I get closer to my 30s, I've seen a significant change in my social class, meaning the people that I choose to hang around with on a financial level, because for the most part, I just want to hang around people who have good financial habits. And I say this because in my early 20s, I used to hang around people who didn't have the best money habits. And we all know you are who you hang out with. But as I continue to get older, I definitely realize I should be hanging around people who know how to manage their finances a little better than I do. And ever since I started hanging around these kind of people, I managed to adopt a lot of good money habits that has definitely put me in a way better position financially. And honestly, looking back retrospect all you really have to do is change the bad habits that a lot of us are brought up on or got used to doing so what i want to do in this video is bring awareness to nine different money habits that are honestly keeping people poor so if you guys want to know what these nine bad habits are so that way you guys can shift to prosperity and abundance then make sure to watch this video all the way to the end so that way you sir or ma'am do not miss out on any good financial information that can help you out if you're already subscribed then welcome back but if you guys are new to my channel my name is ish Sanford and you are now watching just money where we talk about financial related topics such as personal and business credit real estate and other financial related topics so that's something you're into then you're probably gonna want to consider subscribing but without further ado let's get into today's video okay so the first bad habit we're gonna be talking about that tend to keep people poor is something called lifestyle inflation which I myself am actually guilty of doing before for those out there that don't know what lifestyle inflation is this is when you start to spend more money just because you are now making more money I think for the most part most of us are guilty of doing this before because I just feel like once you start making a little bit of more money you just start making these little innocent purchases that add up over time or you quickly become accustomed to it and a quick example of that is buying more expensive food or eating out more than what you usually would. But for some people, it might even be that new car. I literally have friends to where I try to persuade them not to get that new Tesla just because they're making an extra $5 an hour now because I know longevity, they're going to regret it. And I also know that car payment every month is going to set them back when it comes to saving their money or reaching their other financial goals like buying a house or even investing your money in the stock market or something at least. But the crazy thing is this person already had a working functional car that didn't even look bad. This person just wanted something nicer just because they were simply making more money now. So like lifestyle inflation aka lifestyle creep definitely does creep up on you and like I said earlier I'm even guilty of this because once upon a time in my early 20s I used to spend a lot of money on shoes and jewelry just because I was simply making more money now but looking back retrospect I definitely should have invested that money into something that was going to make me more money versus buying like over 40 pairs of shoes that I barely even wear it wasn't up until I found my mentor who's a very successful person by the way he's the one that actually brought it to my attention how bad and silly it was making the purchases I was making just because I was simply making more money now since then though I definitely slowed down the last five years on the bad purchases that I was making and I'm able to filter out all the purchases that I don't necessarily need. So the advice that I would give is instead of spending more money just try to keep your expenses as low as possible and then just save the difference. Because if you guys are making more money now and you keep the same routine you had when you were making less money then you guys are definitely going to be ahead in life. But the second habit that usually keeps people poor is not having a bank account. I know this sounds like a given but believe it or not there are a ton of people out there that do not have a bank account. And I know this for a fact because some of the people that I grew up with to this day they still don't have a bank account what these people tend to do is once they get their check they cash their check in at a check cashing place which charges them a fee just to get their money and i've witnessed people do this plenty of times like this is actually a thing and sometimes you can't even blame them though because sometimes you just grow up in a rough area or community and you're just not taught these things for those that don't know i grew up in the compton long beach area in california my whole life I actually went to high school in long beach but for those out there that are not familiar with this area it's kind of rough to be honest and most people from there don't make it out of there and whenever you grow up in a rough environment like this you're usually not taught any financial financial literacy because unfortunately it just doesn't get passed down it's literally up to you if you guys want to be the one to make the change in your guys's generational cycle but ladies and gentlemen not only do you lose your money every month from not having a bank account since you have to cash your checks all the time but you're also at risk in losing your money or getting it stolen if you don't have a safe place to park it I know some people out there might not like banks or they don't trust banks for whatever reason but the good thing about banks is they're actually FDIC insured all the way up to $250,000 so if a bank were to ever go bankrupt for whatever reason or something bad happens to that bank your money is protected all the way up to to $250,000 so you'll always be able to get that money back. Now the third habit that usually keeps people poor is avoiding financial education. A lot of people tend to avoid financial education because they just feel like it's too hard to learn. But honestly, I just think it's a mindset thing. I believe whatever you guys set your mind to, you can achieve as long as you guys are locked in and always striving towards your goals. Honestly, there's going to be two things that I super recommend you guys do for financial education since schools didn't teach us none of this kind of stuff growing up. The first thing that I would recommend to do, which is actually probably the most important thing you guys are ever going to hear in your life, which has actually led me to the position that I'm in right now is finding a mentor. Find somebody who's already gone through all the troubles and challenges so that way you don't have to. If this is your guys' first time watching my channel or even if you're a returning subscriber, if you don't ever remember anything from my channel one day for whatever reason, just remember this one thing. Find a mentor who is willing to teach you and you will be straight. Getting a mentor is literally the easiest and fastest way to be successful and it's also a cheat code to life. I kid you not. And I know some of you guys out there are probably going to say, oh, well, I don't have anybody or I can't find anybody. You guys have to be active searching and putting yourself 
with specific situations so that way you guys could find one because it definitely is possible. I've been in situations where I probably could have like six or seven mentors already because I'm the kind of person to where I'm always looking for opportunities in life. It's kind of like the red car effect to where you don't really see any red cars, but now that I brought it to your attention, you're gonna look for all the red cars that you're now seeing. Same thing with finding a mentor. You're not actively searching, but since I brought it to your attention, you're probably gonna search now. Because for me personally, I just feel like whatever you guys are looking for in life is also looking for you. But the second thing I would recommend to do so that way you guys can get more financial education is to just read books. You guys need to level up your mindset when it comes to reaching prosperity. So what I'm gonna be doing right now is sharing five books with you guys that I've read before that I think you guys should read too. Number one is gonna be called Think and Grow Rich. That is the best book hands down and I actually got it right here. One second. This is the best book that you guys absolutely need to be reading. Number two is gonna be Rich Dad Poor Dad, which is also a really good book. Number three is gonna be called The Millionaire Booklet by Grant Cordon. Number four is gonna be called Who Moved My Cheese? And number five is gonna be called The Richest Man in Babylon. I guarantee you, if you guys read all of those five books that I just mentioned, your world is gonna change significantly to say the least. I'm actually gonna link all of those five books that I just mentioned in the description below, just in case you guys want to check them out. I highly recommend, like I'm not even joking, I highly recommend you guys read those books. But moving on to our fourth habit now, that is keeping you poor. The the fourth habit that's keeping you guys poor is not having a budget. If you guys don't have any kind of budget for yourself, then you're just going to be spending recklessly all the time and you're always going to find yourself in a bad financial predicament. You guys need to keep a budget for yourself because this is what's going to keep you guys on the path to your financial goals. Because whenever you guys budget, you're pretty much keeping yourself in check. You're letting yourself know, hey, this is what I can't afford and this is what I can't afford. And for those out there that don't know exactly how they should be budgeting, then just follow the 50-30-20 rule. This is a strategy that allocates your income into three different categories, needs, wants, and savings. 50 50% of your income is going to go towards needs such as bills and food. The next 30% of your income is going to go towards wants such as going out, having fun, or just buying something you always wanted to buy. But the next 20% of what you guys make in a month is going to go towards savings such as emergencies or investments. If you guys actually follow this 50, 30, 20 rule, then you guys are going to be straight. Now, the fifth bad habit that is keeping people poor in today's society is buy now, pay later applications such as Klarna or Affirm. I've personally been a victim before of Affirm because like I said earlier in my early 20s, I used to buy a lot of shoes with Affirm. I would buy like $200 shoes and then I would split that payment into three months. So realistically, I was paying $66 a month for three months for the shoes that I wanted to buy. And then I would do it again like two or three more times. So that little $66 a month easily turned into $300 a month in installment loans that I was paying for these shoes. You think it's just a little bit of money that you're paying every month so that way you can justify the purchase in your head. But the reality is this is how they get you. What I've learned and what I will say proceeding forward is if you guys can't afford to pay for the item outright or if you can't justify the payment in one purchase, then just don't buy it. I'm actually gonna make a full in-depth video on this soon. So if you guys are interested in watching that, comment the word buy now pay later so i know you guys want to watch that and also really quick if you guys are finding any of this information helpful if you guys could do me a favor and hit the like button i would truly appreciate it because it really helps me out a lot and then it's also a dope way to help support the channel now the sixth bad habit that is keeping people poor is not saving you guys should definitely be saving because you literally never know what will happen in life an opportunity might arise to where you have a chance to start making more money but if you're not ready and you don't have any money saved then you're going to be straight out of luck and that opportunity that was originally destined for you is going to go to somebody else all because you didn't have any money saved and you were not already i've seen this happen before plenty of times and this is like the worst thing that can happen and then also too though if you guys aren't saving how in the world are you supposed to make investments so that way you guys can make more money if you guys don't know how to save then i would recommend doing the 50 30 20 rule that i just talked about earlier but the seventh bad habit that is keeping people poor is not tracking your spending honestly i would recommend to take a look at your bank account every single day that's literally the best way that you guys can track your spending besides keeping a spreadsheet you're gonna see where your money's going every month and you'll also be able to see what subscriptions you're paying for every month that you no longer need or could cut off but actually look at your guys' account every day because I have a friend to where whenever he goes on vacation, he does not like to look at his bank account at all. He literally just goes the whole trip without looking at his bank account because he knows he's making purchases that he's not supposed to be making. This friend of mine knows he's not supposed to be spending his money on certain purchases, but what this friend likes to do is escape reality for a bit. And that's fine. I like to escape reality too, but just know you're going to pay the financial consequences for it later. But another thing too, though, that I want to say about tracking your spending, since we're already talking about it, is if you're looking at your bank account every day, it might actually help you not make foolish purchases that you know you shouldn't be making. Looking at your bank account actually makes you double think whether you should make that next foolish purchase or not. But anyways, moving on to the eighth habit now, that is keeping people poor. The eighth habit that is definitely keeping people poor is credit card debt. It's actually really crazy because roughly 47% of people in America are in credit card debt. I don't know who watches my YouTube shorts or not, but I actually go around the city interviewing random people, asking them what's a bad financial decision that they regret making in their life. And most of the time they tend to say credit card debt. What's one financial decision you regret making in your life? Credit cards. Why do you say that? Because you think you're gonna pay them off and then you're stuck with them. Yeah. <laughs> did, did that happen to you? It has happened, yes. Oh, <laughs> College. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs>
So this literally goes to show that these statistics are correct. It's just when it comes to credit card debt, you are literally getting charged interest every month to borrow that money. And sometimes your interest can be really low depending on the amount of debt that you guys have, but it could be really high too, like two or $300, for example. And if you're paying that much in interest on credit card debt, then that's gonna keep you poor because at that point, it's gonna be super hard to pay your principal down. How do you expect to pay your credit card off when all you're doing is mostly paying the interest? Because really what most people tend to do is just make the minimum payment every month versus making a higher payment so that way you guys can actually pay your balance down. So by only making the minimum payment, you're really just prolonging your debt, to be honest, if you owe a lot. Especially if you guys have different credit cards with debt on there too, it's gonna be really hard for you guys to get out of debt. And not only just that, but actually having money for yourself. So I would say this is definitely one of the top things in life that definitely keeps people poor. Honestly, if you guys can't afford it cash, then just don't buy it. When it comes to using credit cards, you guys, just use it to get the rewards or cash back or whatever, and then just pay it back immediately after you make the purchase. If you pay your credit card off as soon as you make the purchase, then that is definitely going to help you stay out of credit card debt. But the last bad financial habit that is keeping people poor out there is ignoring their financial goals. Everybody wants to be a millionaire in life and do big things and have this, that, and the third, but if you guys aren't actively taking steps in order to get there and you're doing God knows what, then how do you expect this to happen? You guys have to follow a plan and stick to it. It does take a lot of discipline though, not gonna lie, but if you guys are actually, actually locked in, then this is way more tangible than you guys think. But that's gonna wrap it up for today's video, guys. Those are gonna be the nine bad habits that usually keep people poor. If you guys can change the bad financial habits in your life, then you're gonna see a significant positive change in your financial life. Don't forget to get your free stock at Robinhood that could potentially be worth all the way up to $200 when you guys use my link in the description below. And also, if you guys are looking for a high yield savings account, I personally use SoFi, so that's what I would recommend using. If you guys use my link in the description below, then you can potentially earn all the way up to $325 of free money. So I definitely wouldn't snooze on that while the offer is still available. And also really quick, I do offer one-on-one -on -one consultations. If you guys would like to speak to me personally, the link will always be in the description below. But if you guys want the chance to win a free 15 minute consultation from me, then all you have to do is comment the word free game in the comments below and send an email to my business email stating which you guys would like to talk about. I do pick a winner every Monday. But if you guys made it to the end of the video, we are at 55,500 subscribers at the time of this recording. So I do appreciate all who watch. I do post weekly videos for those that don't know and if you guys haven't yet already don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't yet already and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that way you guys get notified every time i ish post a new video and again we talk about personal business credit real estate and other financial related topics so if that's something you're into then you're probably gonna want to consider subscribing we talk about how to get high limits on your guys credit cards how to boost your personal credit how to obtain business credit we talk about real estate we talk about mortgage loan programs we talk about all that so this is your one-stop shop and also really quick for those that don't know i'm a licensed real estate agent and a licensed mortgage loan originator so if you guys are looking to purchase or sell a home in Southern California, all my information will always be in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.